there is a feeling of euphoria when we discover it, but almost a feeling of dread when we figure out what we had to do in a short time frame. We decided only to extract them whole and then take them back to the laboratory for further excavation. During the excavations, this was a constant feeling of euphoria because every time I moved soil off, an incredible discovery was found. I mean, I was able to excavate a jewelry box. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh. oh. I was able to excavate these ornately carved fish hooks. There was an abalone shell with tons of jewelry. A bunch of the points that are in the Redwood Box cache are made from the curve of these kinds of bottles. One of the pieces has a side seam and a general shape that puts it as a Hamilton mineral water bottle, which only began being produced by about 1809. We had whistles, we had knives that were still hafted with Redwood handles, we had brass buttons, we had all kinds of things. So what we would expect Southern California, Los Angeles, and the Channel Islands to be during the late 1800s, the people from all over the world coming together for economy, for society, and so on. If you just look at those things, then maybe you could think a hunter, a relic collector many years ago, put it in there. But when we found those baskets, we know that only a native Nicolaino can make those things. We knew that the person who made those grew up on San Nicolas Island, knew how to work with seagrass cordage, knew how to twine it in such a way and then take asphaltum to make it watertight. We think that the assortment of goods represents a time period probably when this individual was born. Who was born in the early 1800s? Juana Maria the lone woman of San Nicolas Island, or the person that was chronicled as Karana in Island of the Blue Dolphins. This story is very sad, obviously. But when Night of Her first surrounded her in the original accounts, what's great about it is it makes our work alive because it talks about her, what she carried. It talks about a basket she had. It talks about her making a water bottle. We found all these things in the archeological record. So it becomes real when we can see it manifested into the story of perhaps the most famous Southern California native person.